Speak handsome and beautiful. Today we are going to talk about the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom. It was founded by Diodotus I, who revolted against the Seleucid Empire, thus achieving the independence of his satrap called Bactria in 239 BC, during the reign of Antiochus II. Before the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom was formed, Asarces I takes the Persian satrapy from the Seleucid Empire in 247 BC. Thus, the Greco-Bactrian Kingdom is geographically isolated, which makes the land trade difficult, but creates opportunities for maritime trade with the Ptolemaic Egypt. With the death of Diodotus I, his son Diodotus II takes over the government he makes an agreement with Arsus's first kingdoms of the Persians to prevent Seleucus II Emperor of Seleucid from invading his territories. But Diodotus is assassinated by Altidemos I, satrap of Sogdiana, who begins his own dynasty. In 210 BC, Antiochus III Seleucid Emperor carries out an attack against Eutidemus, who retreats from his capital, Bactro. Antiochus carries out a siege of the city that lasts approximately three years. At the end, Antiochus recognizes Eutidemus and his kingdom as independent, but with allegiance to the Seleucids and offers one of his daughters from for Demetrius I. Son of Eutidemus. After the victory against the Seleucids, the Greco Bactrian kingdom expanded again, conquering regions in the Far East and in the Indian subcontinent, occupying regions that today belong to the modern China and not in Northeast India. The Greco Bactrian kingdom's contact with China during the reign of Imperial Wu formed the trade route known as today as the Silk Road. The metro first invaded India, which was ruled by Pusumitra Sunga of the Sunga Empire, that emerged from the fall of the Marion Empire. It is believed that he went to help the fallen Marion Empire, the invasion reached the city of Patna, when the army withdrew. With the death of the metro first in 180 BC, the Greco Bactrian kingdom goes through a turbulent period of ten years, with corrosions and civil wars, with the victory of Eucratides I and the unification of the kingdom again.